How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and we're going to continue to work on my 1984 Porsche 944 Project Track Car. So this is going to be a car that I kind of rip around on the weekends and to bring to the track. So I want it to be as lightweight as possible, as fun as possible, and also have all the track ready things. So the first part of what we're doing, actually we've been diving into this for uh, quite some time now, well over a year. And what we've been doing is eliminating all the unnecessary weight for a car that you would be bringing to the track. So I've gotten a ton of stuff out of the engine bay. We've cleaned it all up, got rid of tons of vacuum lines. I'll show you guys that again, in case you're new to the channel. And we finally got this thing running really, really well the way that I wanted to. And now it's time to eliminate all of these unnecessary wires and start cleaning up everything inside. So I've got to get uh, this center console back in there, gauges hooked up, um, gauges that would be necessary for track. And we'll eliminate any unnecessary wires, modules, relays, and of course some of this speaker stuff because I've already gotten rid of the radio and replaced that with the gauge pod down there. And we've got to finish hooking up the gauges like I said. So a lot on the plate. I've got to get rid of the speakers on the door here. I want to finish uh, reconverting this door. As you guys can see, the driver's door. I got rid of any unnecessary weight. And we're just going to keep moving forward on this project. I got a lot of things on order uh, that we're going to be doing to the front to the windows that are all going to eliminate weight and then we got to start moving on to suspension and brakes so this thing can be a real track monster so without further ado let's dive right into this and start getting rid of all of the stuff that we don't need she me
pretty much going to wrap this video up but first we're going to walk around and talk about all that was accomplished on this video and take a closer look at all the modifications i just got done doing and i am blown away guys some of these things are small but they're going to make such a big difference and i am so glad that i decided to go this route and the way that this car is coming out to be a track slash weekend ripper something lightweight but still kind of a stock look and that's exactly what is going on with this car but first before we dive in and look at the uh inside let's talk about this battery um i also need to fix this back here so i want to point that out so i've got to make something to go over there because we did remove uh, all the fans the heater box and all that stuff but i picked this battery up about a year ago when i first started doing a lot of the ripping out and some of the engine cleanup and i wasn't sure if it was going to work out it was 60 dollars it was like 25 pounds less weight than the other battery that was in there. And for that price, I said I'll take a risk. And this thing has not failed me yet. I've started this car probably hundreds of times and only trickle charged it a few times. Now that I've got the alternator in there, it has no issue starting this car. And the other big thing is I don't have any, well, very few of the vacuum line so all i've got connected i want to do a video on this because there's so much confusion online about what can be removed and what can't be removed but all i've got is my brake booster line here so my brakes work perfect and i've got my uh fuel right here so the two fuel vacuum lines that come down here and connect into our throttle body and that is it guys now i'm in florida the weather's right now in the 70s got down into the 40s and still started up without an issue but i'm guessing if you're in those really cold areas and you try to start this thing with that little vacuum lines, you will run into problems with it starting. But so far, no issues for me. So I want to get that out of the way first off. Well, now let's go ahead and step into the car and take a look at our modified doors. Now I do have to install that handle on here. What I did on that side was used uh, one of my dog collars. So I wanted to kind of put that on there because my dogs mean so much to me in my life. And uh, the one that's on there right now is a dog that's no longer with me. And I still have the collar to one of my older dogs um, that is no longer wearing it. And it's an identical collar to that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on this door uh, once I find that collar. Because we're moving and we put it away somewhere. I can't find it. So that'll go on here as well. And then I went ahead and made these little plates here super lightweight uh, using some corrugated board and some uh, leather wrap on here. Just kind of glued it on there. Weigh pretty much nothing to cover up those speaker holes. And then I went ahead and put a little bit of new hardware on here with some washers just to kind of give it that finished look. And then, like I said, now it needs to be cleaned down. I need to vacuum this carpet, but I got it back together. Uh, you guys saw, got the glove box, box back in there working because this thing is extremely lightweight. But I decided to leave off some of the heavier metal brackets that go up under here. And as you can see, I cleaned up everything. There's almost no wires coming to this, but what is being currently used. So I do have some finishing up to do. I need to wire in um, our voltmeter as well as my oil pressure gauge. And then I actually have new sensor for the stock oil pressure gauge as well so i'll get that working so as you can see the temperature right there is reading properly pretty much matches up with this if i didn't explain it this one's working off of the uh, engine block temperature and this is off of the coolant temperature so this one you'll be able to see right as it starts warming up and this one once the thermostat opens up it'll come on so what's cool about these backlights is i've got it hooked up to our fog light switch so if i flip that off they go off if i flip it on they go on these are also hooked up to that same thing, but they need new bolts. So those will be going in as well. And like I said, I tried to keep it pretty stock, just taking away some of the unnecessary things. A new seat will be going in here eventually, but something I want to be able to easily remove uh, for track days. So uh, a little bit less weight without that in here, and I want that capability. And if you guys didn't see the back, I pretty much stripped out all of the sound deadening, this back seats and all that on a previous video and uh, clean that all up to still make it look stock so this is pretty much it guys a lot of work went into it oh one more thing if you see this toggle switch that i hooked up when i flip that up that kicks our fans on high i don't know if you can hear that so if i'm sitting in traffic or if i got the car idling um, now they do kick on automatically still so that is still functioning so once the car gets up in temp um, i think 
think it's right around 200 block temperature those fans will kick on and it will come right back down to 180 190 so it is running perfectly right now i even drove it around pretty hard these last couple of days and had no issues overheating but i wanted to install this just as a precautionary uh, maybe if i'm sitting uh, after driving for a while and i want to flip that on just to get those fans to kick on and cool the engine down a little bit quicker uh, that is something I wanted to have, especially here in Florida. So that's about it, guys. I know I rambled on a lot at the end there, but I wanted to fill you in on all the things that I've been doing, all the things that got done on this video. And I think this car is just coming out spectacular. Like I said, it's running so good right now. Sounds so good with that exhaust on there. And I can't wait to show you guys some of the other things I've got in store for this. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video.